Good morning, dear students. My name is Farhan Mazar, and today is 29th of January 2021, uh, 22, sorry. And I am right now with the ninth Cambridge class, and the subject we are studying is D Maths 4024. This is Cambridge O Levels of Mathematics, and we are working on the syllabus. And today we have set our hearts to solve an exercise uh, from the D3. The book is New Syllabus Mathematics, seventh edition. We call it D3. And uh, we have selected exercise 10B. We have already done uh, uh, one session with this exercise in which we solved the question number one. It's different parts. Today, we are going to start uh, from the question number two, and we will go up to question number six. This exercise is about uh, the length of the uh, arc length of the sector, area of the sector, perimeter of the sector. So let's start exercise 10B from the D3 book. So you can see that the question number two is showing up on your screen. This is exercise 10B from the D3 seventh edition, uh, new syllabus mathematics seventh edition. Question number two is for each of the following circles, find the perimeter, the area of the minor sector. Okay, so if you look at the question number one, and you can see the, this question number two, sorry, and it's A part. The, the minus sector, uh, its angle subtended at the center is 30 degree and the radius is seven centimeters. And we want to find out the perimeter of this sector and the area of this minor sector. You know, the formula for the perimeter of the sector is theta by 360, uh, two pi r plus radius plus radius. And the area, the area of the minor sector its formula is uh, theta by 360 pi r square. So let me show you my solution. Question number 10 and its first part. Okay, so on your screen, you can see that part is showing up and it says uh, theta is 30, the radius is seven centimeter. The perimeter of the sector will be the parameter of the sector will be the arc plus radius plus radius. So, so uh, the arc is theta by 360, 2 pi r plus uh, r plus r is 2 r. Just enter the values theta is 30 and the radius is 7. So 30 by 360 multiply 2 pi multiply 7 plus 7 plus 7 equals 2. And that will be 17 point and it will be 17.665. So it will be 17.7 centimeters. So this is how you will do the, uh, this is how you will find the parameter of the, of this sector. The area of the sector, the formula is theta by 360 pi r square. So theta divided by 360 multiply pi multiply seven square equals to 12.2 centimeter square. So this is how you will do the A part, okay. So let's go to the next, the next question. And that next question is question number two, B part. Here you can see we have to find out the area and the perimeter and the area of the minor sector. The radius is 3.5 centimeter, but the, this angle given, this is not the angle for the minor sector. This is the angle for the major sector. So uh, this is 340 degrees. So area for and the angle at the center for the minor sector will be 360 minus 340. So once you know this angle and the radius, you can do, you can find the parameter and, and the area. Okay. So uh, the angle for the, uh, the minor sector will be 360 minus 340, and that will be 20 degree. So the radius is 3.5 centimeter. The parameter will be R plus radius plus radius. So theta divided by 362 pi R plus 2 R. So enter the values of the theta and the radius. So the parameter will be 20 divided by 360, multiply two, multiply five, multiply 3.5, plus two, multiply 3.5, equals to, and that will be 8.2 centimeter. The area of the sector, you know the formula is theta divided by 360 pi r square, equals to, just enter the value of the theta and the radius. So you will have 20 divided by 360 multiply pi multiply 3.5 square equals to, and that will be 2.14 centimeters square. 
hopefully you understand how this is done. This is this was question number two and it's B part. Okay, so let's go to the next question. And that's question number two and C part here. We have to find out the perimeter and the area of this minor sector. The angle subtended is 140 degree and the radius is six centimeter. So very simple question. So let's, let's solve it. So we will go to the question number two and C part on your screen that is showing up. Theta is 140 degree, radius is six centimeter. The perimeter is R plus radius plus radius. So theta divided by 362 by R plus two R. So enter the value of the theta and the radius, and that will be 140 divided by 360, multiply two, multiply five, multiply six, plus two, multiply six equals two, and that will be 26.7 centimeter. So this is how you will find the, the perimeter of, the, of this uh, sector. Then uh, we have to find out the area of this sector. The area of the sector is, uh, you know, area of the sector will be theta divided by 360 pi r squared. That's the formula. So we will have 140 divided by 360 multiply pi multiply 6 square, and that will be 43.98, round it off, and that will be 44 centimeter square. So this is how you find the area of the sector. So uh, let's go to the next question. So the question number three is coming up on your screen. You can see the figure shows a circle with the center O and the angle AOB is equal to theta. The circumference of the circle is 88 centimeter. He says, uh, uh, find the length of the arc ACB and the area of the sector OACB for each of the following values of the theta. So for this whole question number three, the circumference of this whole circle is given. So from this uh, circumference of the whole circle, I can find the radius of this circle. And I will use that radius and this angle at the center. And I will find out the area of the sector and the length of the arc ACB, okay? So first of all, from this circumference, I will find out what is the radius. Okay, so let me show you. So on your screen, this is showing up. The circumference is given 88 centimeters. So the circumference, the formula for the circumference is 22 pi r equals to 88. So r will be equals to 88 divided by two pi. So that will be 44 divided by pi and that will be 14 centimeters. So the radius for the question number three, all the parts, the radius will be 14 centimeters. In the A part, he says that the, the, the theta is the 60 degree. The arc length will be theta divided by 360 into 2 pi r. So it will be 30, 60 divided by 360 into 2 into pi into 14. And that will be 14.7 centimeter. Area of the sector will be theta divided by 360 pi r square. 60 divided by 360 pi into 14 square. And that will be 102.6 centimeters square. This is how you will do the A part. In the B part, the radius will be 14 centimeter and the theta is 99 degree. So the arc will be theta by 360, two pi r, that will be 99 by 360, multiply two, multiply pi, multiply 14, and that will be 24.2 centimeter. The area of the sector will be third, theta by 360 pi r square, 99 divided by 360, multiply pi, multiply 14 square equals to, and that will be 169.3 centimeter square. So this is how you will do this B part. In the C part, the angle subtended by the sector and the center is 126 degrees and the radius is 14 centimeter. We need to find out the arc length of the sector and the area of the sector. The formula for the arc length of the sector is theta divided by 362 pi r equals to 126 divided by 360 multiply two, multiply pi, multiply 14 equals to, and that will be 30.8 centimeter. The area of the sector, the formula for that is theta divided by 360 pi r squared equals to put the values of the theta and the, and the radius. So you will have 126 divided by 360, multiply 14, uh, multiply pi, multiply 14 square equals to 215.5 centimeters square. So this is how you will do the question number three, A part, B part, C part. Okay, so now question number three, it's a C part. 
The angle at the center is 126 and the radius is 14 centimeter. The arc uh, of the sector we can find very easily by the formula theta divided by 360, 2 pi r. So enter the values here. So that will be equal to 126 divided by 360, multiply 2, multiply pi, multiply 14, equals to, and that will be 30.8 centimeter. The area of the sector, the formula is theta divided by 360 pi r square. Enter the value of the theta and the radius. So you will have 126 divided by 360 multiply pi multiply 14 square and equals to, and that will be 215.5 centimeters square. So round it off and that will be 216 centimeters square. So this is how you will do the question number three. I hope that uh, you understand this. So uh, we have done all the four parts of the question number three. So, uh, but we have, I think the D part is still left. Okay. So let's go to the D part. The, okay. So I am not showing the D part here. Okay. So you can do the same process with, with the question number uh, three and uh, it's D part. So, oh, my dear students, there was a mistake. This part is the D part, and we have done this. Uh, you can see here, question number three, A part, B part, and the C part. And now this is the D part. So this D part is done. So uh, hopefully you understand how this question number three is done. Three D part is showing up on your screen. Uh, this is how you find the arc length. We just wrote the formula theta by 362 pi r, we enter the value of the theta and the radius, we just calculated it is 30.8. We wrote the formula for the area of the sector, that's theta by 360 pi r square. We enter the value of the theta and the radius, and we just entered that in the calculator. We got 215.5, which rounded off to 216 centimeters square. So this is how you do the question number. Uh, that's the question number. Uh, uh, three and it's D part. So now let's see what's the question number four we have for us. The figure shows a, shows a circle with the center O and the angle POQ equals to X degree. The area of the circle is 3850 centimeters square. Find the area of the sector OPSQ and the length of the arc PSQ for each of the following values of the X. So there the D parts, A, B, C, and D part is given. Here uh, different uh, uh, angles at the center are given. And uh, from the, the area of the circle given, 3850 centimeters square, I can apply the formula and I can find out the value of the radius. And that radius value and these uh, given angles, I will use and I will find the area of the sector and the length of the arc. So very simple, straightforward question. So let me show you. This is how this is done. Question number four is coming up on your screen. Area of the circle is 3850 centimeters square. The, you know the formula for the area of the circle is pi r square equals to 3850. So R square will be equals to, so this is how you enter in your calculator. It will be 3850 divided by equals to square root answer equals to, and that will be 35 centimeter. So in the question number four, in all the A, B, C, and D part, the radius will be 35. In the A part, he says the angle at the center is 36. Find the area and the arc length. The radius is 35, you know, the area formula. Formula for the area of the sector is theta divided by 360 pi r square. So that will be equal to 36 divided by 360 multiply pi multiply 35 square. And that will be 384.8 centimeters square, which is approximately 385 centimeters square. Area of the sector is also an arc of the sector is question. Arc of the sector, the formula is theta by 360, 2 pi r, just enter the values. 36 divided by 360, multiply 2, multiply 5, multiply 35, and that will be 22 centimeters. So this is how you will do the question number four and it's A part. Question number four and it's B part, the radius is 35 centimeters and the theta angle is 84 degrees. 
we have to find out the area of the sector and we have to find out the arc length of the sector. Area of the sector, you know, the formula is theta divided by 360 pi r square. Substitute the value of the theta and the radius, 84 divided by 360, multiply pi, multiply 35 square. And that will be 897.97, which, which will be approximately 898 centimeters square. Then the arc of the sector, the formula, you know, is theta divided by 362 pi r, and that will be 84 divided by 360, multiply 2, multiply pi, multiply 35, and that will be 31, sorry, 51.3 centimeter. So this is how you do question number four and B part, question number four and it's C part. The radius is 35 centimeters and the theta is 108 degrees. We want to find out the area of the sector and the area and the arc length of the sector. The area of the sector, the formula is theta divided by 360 pi r square. And that will be 108 divided by 360 multiplied pi multiplied 35 square equals to, and that will be 1154.5. When you round it off, that will be 11545 centimeters square. So area arc of the sector is theta divided by 362 pi r equals to, so it will be 108 divided by 360 multiplied 2 multiplied pi multiplied 35, and that will be 65.97 centimeter, which will be approximately 66 centimeter. So uh, that was the question number four, and there were three, I think, I think how many parts? Question number four, there were two parts. I think I have done how many parts? Two parts. Okay, so let me. So uh, we are done with the question number four and it's B part. So uh, let me go to the next part. That's question number four and it's C part. The radius is 35. The angle theta is 108 degrees, degrees. The area of the sector is question and the arc of the sector is question. The area of the sector, you know, the formula is theta divided by 360 pi r square. So that will be 108 divided by 360 pi and 35 uh, square. So it will be 1154.5, which will be 1155 centimeter square. And the arc of the sector, theta divided by 360, 2 pi r, and that will be 108 divided by 360, multiply 2, multiply pi, multiply 35, and that will be 65.97 which is approximately 66 centimeter. So this is how you will do question number four, it's C part. Now, question number four and this D part is on your screen. The radius is 35 centimeter, the theta is 198 degrees. The area is question, the arc, the area of the sector is question, the arc of the sector is question. Area of the sector, the formula is theta divided by 360 pi r square, and that will be 198 divided by 360, multiply pi, multiply 35 square. So that will be 2116.6. That will be approximately 2117 centimeters square. If you round it to the 10, it will be 2120 centimeters square. So the arc of the sector, the formula is theta divided by 360, 2 pi r equals to 198 divided by 360 multiplied 2, multiplied pi, multiplied 35. So when you enter these in your calculator, you will get 120.95, so which is approximately 121 centimeters. So this is how you do the question number a, a four. There were D, A, B, C, and D part. So we are done with this. Now the question number five is showing up on your screen. It says find the radius of each of the following uh, circles. And here uh, area of the minor sector is uh, 114 centimeter square. And the, the angle of the minor sector at the center is 150 degrees. So I have to find out the radius, the area of the minor sector is given. I will apply the area of the minor sector, the formula for the minor sector, and I can find the radius from there. So let me show you my work. Okay, so the area of the minor sector, it is given 114 centimeters square and that is 150 degree radius is question. You know, the area is 114. So, you know, the formula for the area of the sector is theta divided by 360 pi r square equals to 114. So theta is 150. So 150 divided by 360 pi r square equals to 114. So I will make r square alone. So the, all the other things will go to the other side. This 360, which was dividing here, when it will go to the other side, 
it will multiply that 150 pi, which was multiplying here. When it will go to the other side, it will be divided. So you will have R square is equals to 114 multiplied 360 divided 150 pi and equals to, and that will be 87. So square root answer equals, and R will be equals to 9.3 centimeter. So the radius will be 9.3 centimeters. So this is how you do question number five, and it's a part. Hopefully you understand. So let's 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 check the next part. Question number five, B part, where we have to find out the radius. The area of the major sector is given 369 centimeters square. The angle given that is not the angle of the major sector. That's the angle for the minor sector. So I can find the angle for the major sector, and that will be 360 minus 66. Once I know that angle and I know this area of the major sector, I can find the radius of the sector. So let me show you my work. And this was question number 5A. Now question number 5B is showing up. Area of the major sector is 369 centimeters square. The angle subtended by the major sector at the center will be 360 minus 66, and that will be 294. You know, the area given is 369. The formula for the area, formula for the area is theta divided by 360 pi r square equals to 369. So r scale, when will you make the r scale alone? When you make the r scale alone, you will have 360, you will have 360 and uh, let me. Okay, so you will have 369 multiplied 360 divided by 294 pi equals to under root answer equals to, and that will be 11.99, which will be 12 centimeter. 12 centimeter will be the radius. So this is how you do the question number. This is how you do the question number uh, five, B part. Okay, so let's go to the question number now we are coming to the question number six. He says the diameter of a circle is 18 centimeter. So we know the diameter of the circle. So very easily I can find the radius. The radius is half of the diameter. So it will be 18 divided by two and that will be nine centimeter. He says find the angle subtended by the arc of a sector with each of the following. So we have to find out the angle value, the arc length, uh, arc of a sector is given. Uh, the find the angle of subtended by the arc of a sector with the, each of the following areas. The area of the sector is given, the area of the sector is given, and we have to find out the angle subtended and the radius is nine centimeters, all these four parts. Very simple and straightforward question. So let me show you how this is done. So question number six, perfect question, the diameter is given, that is 18 centimeters. So the radius is half of the diameter. So it will be 18 divided by two and that will be nine centimeter. The angle is questioned and the area of the sector is given 42.6 centimeters. So that's the A part. The area is 42.6 centimeters square. So area is 42.6 centimeters square. The, you know the formula for the area is uh, theta divided by 360 pi r square equals to 42.6. So theta divided by 360. Uh, pi multiply nine square equals to 42.6. So when I will make the theta alone on one side, uh, that 81 pi will go and divide on the other side, 360, which is dividing here, when it will go on the other side, it will multiply there. So you will have 42.6 multiply 360 divided by 81 pi equals to, and that will be 60.3 degrees. So this is how you do the A part of the question number six. So the question number six and it's B part showing up on your screen. The radius is nine centimeter. Area of the sector is 117.2 centimeters square. The theta is question. So theta divided by 360 pi r square, that's the formula for the area of the sector, is equal to 117.2. So theta divided by 360 multiply pi multiply nine square equals to 117.2. So make the theta alone on the left side so that the 81 pi will go on the other side, it will divide 360, which is dividing here, but it will go to the other side. It will multiply there. Theta is equal to 117.2 multiply 360 divided 81 pi equals to, and that will be 165.8 degrees, which is approximately 166 degrees. So question number six, E part radius is nine centimeters. The area is 214.5 centimeters square. Theta is question. 
So you know the, that uh, formula for the area of the sector is theta divided by 360 pi r square equals to 214.5. So theta divided by 360 multiply pi multiply 9 square equals to 214.5. So I will make the theta alone. So 360 will go on the other side. It will multiply. 81 pi will go on the other side and it will divide there. So theta will be equals to 214.5 multiply 360 divided by 81 pi. So that will be 303.5 degrees. So this is how you do question number six and its C part. Question number six and its D part, the radius is nine centimeter. That is the question. Uh, area is 18.9 centimeter square. Area is equals to 18.9. We know the formula for the area of the sector is theta divided by 360 pi r square equals to 18.9. So theta divided by 360 pi 9 square equals to 18.9. So theta is equals to 18.9 multiplied 360 divided by 81 pi. So that will be 26.7 degrees. So uh, my dear students, today we have solved. Today, uh, my dear students, today we have done questions on the Exercise uh, 10, uh, 10 B from the D3 New Syllabus Mathematics Seventh Edition. Today we have done uh, from the question number two to question number six. My name is Farhan Mazar, and uh, you are watching my channel, and we were working on the syllabus. So if you think that uh, if you think that this video is helpful to you. Uh, subscribe my channel and like this video, share the link of this video onto your Facebook accounts, into your Instagram accounts, and on your Twitter accounts. So thank you very much, everybody. It's a great blessing for me that I'm able to teach you online. And I hope that this video will spread all over the world and it will help the students of the Cambridge to prepare this book uh, without any anywhere. They don't have to go anywhere. At their home, by pl playing this video, they will be able to do the mathematics. So thank you very much, everybody. Have a good day. God bless you all.